I have the privilege of every two weeks to do one of these videos. We call them the bottom line, but there has never probably been anything more bottom line and basic than what I'm about to share with you. There was a time in Jesus' life, one of his best buddies was, was a guy named John. And here is what he is going to record. And it is something probably every one of you has heard before. John 3, 16. It's very simple. God so loved the world. First thing I need to tell you, just in case you're wondering, is uh, in, a, in a world full of chaos, road rage, and anger, angry people, I need you to know there's one, one person that is not mad at you, and that's God. He is not mad at you. God so loved this world that he sent his only son. Now, I don't know about you. I've got two boys and a daughter, and then I've got a mess of grandkids. Three boys and one girl. And I, when I, I, I'm 60 years old. I've been a believer now for, for quite some time. I cannot fathom giving up my son, giving up my daughter, my grandson, or my granddaughter. I cannot imagine giving them up for the crimes of someone else. God so loved the world, he's not mad at you, that he gave his one and only son. And you know why he had to give him? It's because we got a debt. We got a debt. It's plain and simple. A lot of people don't understand this, but if you look at it in the American culture, anything we do wrong, we know somebody's going to have to pay. If you run into a building, um, your insurance is going to have to pay on your behalf. If you violate the law and you get pulled over, you expect, as that officer is walking up, that somebody's going to have to pay. And here's the thing. When God created the world, there was nothing wrong with it. And there was nothing wrong with people. But you know our great grandparents, Adam and Eve, made a decision to disobey. And from then on, you know, we're sinners by nature, sinners by choice. Messy by nature, messy by choice. And what happens when that happens? Well, it puts us out of sync with God's original plan. That's why we don't feel good when we're living outside of God's plan. We don't act good when we're living outside of God's plan. Somebody's got to pay for our choices and for our mistakes. That's why he sent his son. But here it is. You ready? God so loved the world that he sent his one and only son that whosoever believes in him should not perish. The word perish is pretty, pretty spooky. But the good news is, and this is the bottom line, if you have never chosen to let Jesus pay your debt, I wish you would do that today. It is very simple because Jesus did the hard work. I just pray that you will invite him into your life right now. Ask him to forgive you. Trust him to do that. That's the bottom line.